Welcome to Symptom Checker here on Hey Doc with me, Dr. KB. Remember, smash the like button and do remember to subscribe. Right into important matters. Polycystic ovarian syndrome, otherwise known as PCOS. What is it? It is a complex hormonal condition that affects women in their reproductive years. Statistics suggest that it affects one in every 10 women in their reproductive years. The hormonal imbalance that occurs leads to irregular menstrual cycles, elevated androgen levels, and the formation of multiple cysts that occurs in each ovary. The irregular menstrual cycle means that there is an absence of ovulation for many months making PCOS a prominent cause for infertility in the 21st century. Although we know that PCOS is a hormonal condition, the exact cause for this condition is not fully understood. It could potentially be linked to various factors such as family history, genetics, lifestyle and environmental influences. Now, the term polycystic ovarian syndrome implies that the issue primarily pertains to the ovary themselves and the possibility of having numerous cysts on each ovary. However, it is important to note that these aren't just ordinary cysts, but rather underdeveloped ovum or eggs. Onto the symptoms of polycystic ovarian syndrome, like most conditions, they can range from being mild to severe. The first commonest symptom is irregular periods. What that tangibly means is that a woman can go several months without having a period at all. In most women, after several months of not having a period, they then have a period that is very heavy and lasts many days having excessive hair in different parts of the body. Classically, those who have PCOS will tend to have excessive hair on the face, on the arms, on the legs, around the umbilical and pelvic area, and sometimes excessive hair can be found in the groin area. The hormonal imbalance that is seen in patients with PCOS can lead to severe acne on the face. The irregular menses, which mean that women with PCOS do not ovulate for several months of the year leads to reduced fertility. So reduced fertility points towards the diagnosis of PCOS. Women with PCOS struggle with their weight. So it is often observed that those with a diagnosis of PCOS have the tendency of being overweight. Obesity is seen in women with PCOS because they are insulin resistant. This is because their pancreas is able to make the insulin as normal. However, the cells of their body is not able to use this insulin effectively and therefore they gain weight. This means that women with PCOS have a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes by the age of 40. That's it for this symptom checker. Remember, if you think that you have PCOS or you feel that you have manifested several of the symptoms I have just talked about in this video, see your doctor as a matter of urgency. What you must know is that it is possible to receive treatment, depending on whether or not you intend to fall pregnant in the near future. And if not, there is maintenance treatment that you can be given pending the time you intend to fall pregnant. As always, I hope that this episode of Symptom Checker has been helpful. Remember to give us a like and a subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Take care.